What up, YouTube? We're back. This video was shot about two weeks ago. We tried to upload it last week. We ran into some major issues uh, with connectivity. We were traveling to Oklahoma to get the therapy done with our daughter. And we're trying to upload it again today. So it's an older video before everything went absolutely crazy. We found out a lot of stuff about him since then, but this is my wife's original reaction to the video. We wanted to put it out there. I hope you enjoy it. That was it. All right, y'all, peace. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I'll have you hold this. My dude, pop, shit, All right, pop, if we can have your name. Uh, my want? name's Aaron. Why is she Aaron, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29, okay, and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Okay, Yo, very cool. Yeah. And yeah. now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like, I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly. <laughs> Have you seen this before? Uh-uh. Okay, so this is a viral clip. That's just how it started. I okay. think it's just hilarious that she's asking him and he's like saying the same stuff over and over again. What do you look for a woman? Someone who's not promiscuous. I don't want nobody who's promiscuous. Mm -hmm. um, I want somebody who got a career, you know. So what are the red flags? Somebody who's promiscuous. <laughs> um, so wait, a common thread here. Anything to say so far? No, Nothing? I'm just, I've never heard of this before. I'm like, pop the balloon. And why does she pop her balloon right away? I don't. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys have seen this before we get into it, because mm -hmm. I've I've never seen or heard it's of this before. It's been all over the place, so yeah, we'll no, see. I... Um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon property. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show. You know? What did you think about not just what she said, but her tone? Was it all, you think it was all fair? Yeah. You were relatively nice about it? I think so. Yeah. That's what you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, hold on. Re rewind it. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I, I feel I, like I'm being set up. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> I, I just want your honest opinion. No, I, from her, my initial viewing mm. of it i feel as though she was straight mm -hmm. but play it back for a second let me see let me just double check and if we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon hi my name is karma i'm 24. Okay. oh sorry i'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon property <laughs> got you um for me it just did not work i didn't feel like i had chemistry or wasn't fully attracted to you and i feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show you know okay so i felt she was she was just being honest right but you don't feel like it was nothing weird in the way she said it or anything the delivery everything was no it seemed like it was she was being honest okay yeah yes the feeling is definitely mutual so uh that's okay yeah. thank you you did me a favor you know absolutely yeah. i'm glad you have a great thank day thank you queen you too okay <laughs> so do you do you feel do you feel like the response was just as on the same level did you feel what, what did you no. feel the response was no it wasn't on the same level he obviously his feelings was hurt to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. because he had to be like oh the feeling was definitely mutual you mm -hmm. did me a favor yeah that, that was a bit much okay i i feel so, he could have just been like okay i understand no problem you know even if he would have kept it at, as the feeling is mutual so no you know no problem yeah. have a great day or something yeah. like that okay. but that extra piece to me was just like a jab like eh, yeah you know okay so look at <laughs> look at her face and her face when he responds the the girl in the red uh -huh. and the, the girl in the white next to her okay like i had chemistry or wasn't fully attracted to you and i feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show you know yes the feeling is definitely mutual so uh that's okay yeah. thank you you did me a favor you know absolutely yeah. i'm glad you have a great thank day thank you queen you too okay well let's go ahead and... all right <laughs> she's like <laughs> and then look, look, look at him he's standing there like he looked back like wait somebody just popped their balloon what happened mm. Right, we gotta pop over here. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay, and why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made uh, didn't really. I like a more humble person, not someone that responds so defensive ish. Yeah, that's really it. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about her response? She was being honest. Yep. She probably she 
Because, I mean, it was he, like I said, it was a jab. You know what I'm saying? Like him being like, oh, the feeling is definitely mutual. You know, he, so she was just like, oh, OK. So what it, and, and what do you think about her demeanor when she did it? I mean, it seemed like she was like she's shy, like she's she doesn't want to hurt his feelings. Mm-hmm. She's just trying to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't really like that because mm-hmm. you came across kind of like pr- not prideful. But that was the first thing that popped in my mind. Mm-hmm. But she just didn't like the way he handled the situation, which to be fair, I mean, I, I get that because you're on a dating show. You're looking for different qualities in a mm-hmm. person and you want to see how they can handle themselves mm-hmm. in certain situations. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like. Hey, uh, I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you fine. Responded. Hey, I could just yeah. all I can do is be honest. I you mean, know? yeah, be honest. I be came authentic over here self. To, that's okay. To, to, to find a match, sure. that one match, and that's sure. all, I mean, Queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right. Bruh. You know, mm-hmm. you're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, but if I seen you in public, I wouldn't reach out I'm to Totally fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Every time he responds to somebody, a balloon pop. I'm just... <laughs> I noticed that it's the delivery. Mm. And I guess the other women are feeling like, oh, so just because I don't like you, mm. you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, in this instance, she's saying like the way how you handled yourself is just something that I'm not I'm mm. not with mm-hmm. or what have you. Okay. And so I don't know what the other lady is going to say, but I'm pretty sure the other lady <laughs> that popped her balloon is probably going to be like, she didn't like the way he mm. responded to yeah. her yep. right. because she was trying to be as nice mm-hmm. as possible. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and he was just like, oh, she OK. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. And I mean, and it could that could be truthful, but it comes across mm-hmm. that, again, he's just saying that mm-hmm. because of the fact that she because she's a pretty girl. Mm-hmm. She's small. And mm-hmm. I know our men tend to like, you know, our women a little thick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She said, I'm obsessed with thick women. And I agree. Right. So, I mean, that could be a thing. Right. But she's pretty. You right, know, right, she's right. a pretty girl. Right. So I don't know. Be interested to see what the other ladies say. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name and age and why you. Look at the hand on the hip. <laughs> Look at the hand on the hip. She she about to tell tell him about himself. Mm. Yep. You ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23 and I pop my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful, like how you, like I don't know, arrogant, a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant. You know. She asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't, that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um... <laughs> right. look at the host's face and look at his face. <laughs> it's the look up and down for me. <laughs> But I mean, that's what it is. Like she said, arrogant. He's not being humble about it mm. because those other two balloons would not have got popped mm. if he didn't come off with that attitude. Mm. I don't think she would have or the other lady with the white dress. I don't mm. think they would have popped a balloon. Right. But it's because, of, you know, his his attitude, like just to look up and down. Now, I think he might be because she got like two tattoos above her knees. Mm. So I don't know if that's what he was looking at. Uh. Oh, I'm not sure. Or he could just be looking at her body up and down. He looked like he was about to read her rights or whatever. Like, you ain't know all of that. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to keep it pushing. I don't know what's going on. His feelings mind. hurt. Again, ma'am, you are correct. Yep. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am. Of course. To fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to just stop speaking on this part and what he's done so far. Mm-hmm. Number one, I definitely agree with pretty much everything you said. Everything oh. you said, all of the reads that you said, I, I feel like that was pretty much it. Guys, this is normal. This happens all the time. I had to go through this with my wife where she was just like, Yo, like, you talk to me so harsh. I don't know why. It's not even necessarily that I'm saying mean things. Yeah. You know, it's just men, we tend to be short. Yeah. Straight to the point. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand 
part of being in a relationship is you have to learn how to speak to your woman. That's a part of what needs to happen in order for societies to be built. Because if we weren't, it would be a very like archaic, not even archaic, <laughs> but it would just be a lot more of a brutal society because men act like we don't have any emotions mm -hmm. because we say women, you know, women react emotionally all the time. Mm -hmm. Men react emotionally all the time, too. It's just that not all the time, a lot of times, mm -hmm. too. The problem is it's a very limited bandwidth of emotions that we react in. We have all of the okay. emotions, but when we react in situations like that, when somebody's talking to us and if we take it as disrespect, <laughs> it jumps straight to anger and we want to check somebody. Mm -hmm. We are not as nuanced when it comes to communication as women are. These are documented things. These are not things I'm making up out of the blues about the differences between how men and women communicate. That's actually a part of the reason for the union between men and women, mm -hmm. because women are meant to balance the rough edges of men. Mm -hmm. And guys, if you're getting into a relationship, this is a part of what's going to happen to you. Like it's literally even down to our biology, mm -hmm. the way that we respond when we're having physical intimacy. There's a reason why after men finish, Bruh. there's a reason why there's a an exhaustion. Wow. Mm -hmm. Women are meant to sap you of that energy, that strength, that testosterone. Mm -hmm. That's meant to happen, guys. That's a part of the deal so that you're not walking around ready to knock everybody out, ready to kill people, ready to blow up on everybody for every little thing that happens in your life. Like there's a reason for that. There's a reason why after that you're exhausted, you're relaxed. That's the biological response of what's supposed to be happening to you psychologically and emotionally when you find a woman that completes you. I'm doing that in quotations because I'm not talking you about. You complete me. Yeah, I'm not talking about bruh. Right. So so I'm not talking about she wally. So I'm not talking about soulmates and stuff, but I'm mm -hmm. just saying a woman who yeah. you know you feel you can trust in that way. Mm -hmm. Like all of that stuff is set up. That's purposeful. And a lot of guys don't like it and they want to avoid it and stuff like that. You wouldn't want all men to avoid it, or else this would be a very different world. It would not be safe at all. Because you want to make a safe space for your wife and for your family. Like truth. Yeah, that's true. And it's all a part of the reason why we are brought together. Just set your mind. If you want relationship, this is a part of it. And mm -hmm. it's the way it's supposed to be. Um, Jordan Peterson does a lot of talks on this type of stuff. Y'all should check him out and then do the research yourself and you'll see where he's talking from and where this comes yeah. from. Cool. The one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely. Yes. Respectful. Okay. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my eyes. That's not what it is. That's no, I was, I was looking at the hair on your Anyways, arms, queen. Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Yo, he is doing the most. <laughs> he shot. And I'm looking at the reactions of the people His in the background, too. His feelings are so too. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, and you know what? He might have been waiting for her because she was snickering when he first walked in. Yep. Mm. She was already snickering and laughing at him. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. Most people, men and women, are not going to react to you favorably if when they walk in, you start laughing at them. Mm -hmm. No, true. So he might have been like, I was waiting for yo. But you guys hit all the buttons. Would you hit the like button? Would you hit the subscribe button? Mm -hmm. Would you hit the notification button? Mm -hmm. Hit all the buttons. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Dang. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's good. all good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So <laughs> we do still have three unpop, but she looking like you gonna pop? Okay. Okay. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal, though. Thank you. You know, she ain't Don't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to my... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh, well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look any way I want to. You know? But, yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back, though? She don't want it. Yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. You, you already been, I already let you know. I'm not interested right, in. You got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, anyways. 
Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how are you feeling, him? Um, I'm not going to get my balloon back. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. So we do still have uh, two balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being I guess arrogant mm -hmm. but to me I like my man that's not gonna sit in every girl's face and you know complimenting them you know mm -hmm. so I didn't find that offensive to me but when they started that what was going on I'm very like I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem that was the only reason why I popped my balloon I wouldn't say I'm argumentative, but I don't want you to argue back with me because then there's always going to be a problem. Okay. Well, yeah. That, that, that means she's argumentative <laughs> and it's always going to be a problem. Like, don't you dare stand up for yourself. Mm, well, You're just supposed to take all the abuse I give you. Uh, What's wrong with you? Well, she just said she didn't mind him speaking his mind and being arrogant or whatever to the other lady. So as long as it ain't coming for her. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you, as long as you let me be arrogant <laughs> and you just take it. Give it to all of them because then I know you only gonna be with me because you telling everybody off. Yep. That, that's that's okay. Popped my balloon because I was just like, dang. Um, but then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy, just a little bit. And since you wanna come at everybody over here, I'm gonna get at you too. You kind of look like a ninja turtle. You're not that cute. You you need to relax. Uh, you stocky as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, okay. but yeah. like you was, you was really coming out. Like I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the South and I can okay. handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen, I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate I and property management. I live downtown. So what you I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen, you know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing with me. You say everybody not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted, Pop If I seen you, I, that's fine. So that, what? That, that's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull 100000 on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't do that. Right you can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, in a real way. Let's you can't do that, though, Queen. Hey, listen. Well, so I guess we know what their relationship would have been like. Like, hey, we're not talking about yeah, it's that's that's what their relationship would have been like. They would have well, been in there arguing, toxic as all get out. They said you got caddy with me. Mm -hmm. From what they showed us, he said nothing to her. Mm -hmm. So they must have cut something out. Oh, and maybe I don't, I don't know what happened. It must have cut something out. But she said she was doing it because of the way he was with Being the, other the other girls. Yeah. And I was just sort of like, well, they grown women. So if they decided that they didn't want to engage, <laughs> there was no reason for you to engage. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be jumping in other people's business just so that you can be in the middle of the drama. No, mind your business. She, But she's not argumentative. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's because she ain't argumentative. His feelings ain't hurt either. Hey, well, so. I don't know. Maybe she just trying to take take up for her fellow sisters. She just she, feel like oh, she just feel like they were being too kind and she was just wanted to let them know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the sisterhood code because it, it caused a lot of unnecessary drama and, and bullshit. So I'm not a fan of it because it just it goes wrong a lot of times. That I think that that's exactly what it was. And mm -hmm. That's the reason why I don't like it. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah, I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay, now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look what for are you looking for? Uh, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous, a woman that's going to be consistent, a woman that has a career and things going for herself, because I had the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty, that's all, and some honesty. Do you believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify as. Religion wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time, you we know, can. if you choose to uh, leave here with me. Okay. Do you know the Bible says that love is kind? Yes, yeah, certainly. Are you here for love or are you here to just insult? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family, you know, okay. that's what I aspire to do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're good? Sure, we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Oh, 
Ooh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. You How old gonna are give you me again? a son? Huh? How old are you? I'm 29. How old are you? 23. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, okay. we might as well get up out of here right now. All right, well, let me let, let's yeah. step on over here. Let's step on. Step that way real quick for me. Step that okay. way. Okay. <laughs> All right. So seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So, yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. Right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on off. <laughs> okay. The faces when he walked off. That was like, uh, really? My <laughs> girl? Okay, suit yourself. I don't know. It was the attitude for me. Like, mm. it was just a bit much. Yeah, his attitude? Yeah, I get it though. Natural. That's a that's a natural reaction mm -hmm. when somebody try to come for you, for you to get defensive or you snap back or what have you. Mm -hmm. But I feel as though the what set it off was mm -hmm. unnecessary mm -hmm. because the first lady that basically she just didn't find him attractive. Mm -hmm. I felt as though she did that in the nicest way possible. Right. And I think that that's fair. Right. She didn't want to waste his time mm -hmm. or whatever. So she's just like, I don't like you. But the fact that he came for her right out the gate, even mm -hmm. though she, you know, she was sincere and it's not like she was trying to be funny or anything like that. Yeah. That would have did it for me too. I'm just like, oh, like she was being nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like there was no need for you to do all that, yeah. you know, type thing. So, okay. So here's the stuff that you don't know. Oh boy. The reason I let her speak is because I've seen some of the things that have happened with this. Mm -hmm. Since the thing happened and they saw his appearance on the show, he got fired from his job. He lied. Not a word is true. He oh. said he got fired from his job because over 500 people called the job complaining about him because he was on the show. And then the people at the job fired him. And you lied. You lied again. What? Supposedly. 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 You sit on a throne of lies. Then... Uh, another, it's not that serious. Another video came out. The girl that he walked off with, apparently she was a gold digger. Oh, she boy. went backstage and she was taking numbers from some of the other guys that had been on a show before he got there and after. And was like giving out her Instagram or whatever okay. right in front of him. Bruh. Well, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Something also came out said that she had like asked him for money for something before they even got out the daggone studio. So he was like, she was gold digging. I don't believe you. And then well, there's more. Bruh. Come to find out that he's a convicted felon. Yep. He used to do Craigslist scams where he would rob people. <laughs> um, he went, he did his time, which makes sense of why the becoming a plumber, licensed plumber thing was a big deal. Because when he came out, mm -hmm. he probably was trying to find something he could get into and mm -hmm. he was able to accomplish that mm -hmm. and to get his hands on something that would make him a good amount of money. Right. That was legal. Right. So right. it probably was a big deal to him. Like when okay. he said that, they say that chances are he doesn't have as much money as he said he has. Because when he put up receipts for the money, it was actually that his company was spending on supplies as opposed to. Uh, his own personal bank account and all this other stuff came out about him and he has all these ex-girlfriends came out online talking about how he would be stalking him how he was controlling he was like tracking people like put a tracker in somebody's car like well left his phone in somebody's car and then did a find my phone to like to literally track them and said he left the phone on record to see if he could catch the girl cheating on him what the Everything is allegations from what he said about the girl to what people were saying about him. So it just turned into this huge thing. And I just wanted to show this because number one, it went viral, but also number two, I wanted to get your feelings on how from the interaction, did you feel that his reactions were necessary from what the lady said? And you said, no, you didn't feel they were. Mm -hmm. I agree. This is the reason y'all we say dating is not great because the reality is when people were reacting to what was happening with this guy, a lot of people didn't know about his past, but at the same yeah. time, no Nobody likes rejection. There's this common yeah. misconception. Oh, guys can't handle rejection. Then some guys be like, women can't handle rejection. Nobody is good with rejection. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. It just doesn't. Right. A lot of people who don't have to deal with rejection just don't put themselves in a situation where they're being rejected. And the people who can handle rejection and doesn't bother them is because they've done the activity so many times that they no longer care, which is another thing you have to be concerned about. That's true, too. And and when you find out the things that were definite about his past, the, the jail thing was definite about his past. You know, once you commit 
commit a crime and you get convicted, you can find those. That's public record. That's public record. That's definitely something that happened in his past. Mm -hmm. And the past informs your people's future, either what they will do again or what they're getting over. True. So it still informs you of their future either way. And this is why I'm not a fan of dating y'all. Not dating like that. Not yeah. dating strangers. Dating people that are around you, that you see often, that mm -hmm. you can vet from afar, see how they deal with situations. We're going to continue to put these stuff out there because a lot of people are looking for people that have certain things that they might not have in the people around them. But you're exposing yourself to a lot looking right. for these particular things. Right. Looking for somebody who has a career. Looking for somebody who looks a certain way. There are certain things that can be fixed, the smaller things. Yeah. But character traits. Character traits, though. That, not saying it's impossible. No. Because with the Lord, all things are possible. But if you ain't messing with the Lord, then that's a whole nother thing. There you go. I was going to say, but if you ain't got Jesus. Jesus. Oh, this is what I've been wanting to say in a video for the last few weeks, and we have it recorded. So one of the things that makes religion so powerful, even though I know a lot of people are anti-religion, one of the things that makes it so powerful is being beholden to something bigger than yourself, outside mm -hmm. of yourself, mm -hmm. especially a standard of some kind. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a reason to not want to do certain things outside of I feel like it. Most people's standards, if you have nothing to base it on, if you don't have a God, of any kind, mm -hmm. you don't have a reason to react to anything outside of, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to get killed. Those are the only things that hold most people back who are not religious in some way mm -hmm. or don't believe, you know, don't have some sense of spirituality. And that's one of the big advantages of having those things because yep. mm -hmm. we're trying to get away from it mm -hmm. because we're trying as hard as we can to basically reenact the beauty that was Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> but... <laughs> It's going to be bad for us, just like it was bad for them. We feel like none of this has happened before. We're doing something new. We're not. It ain't new. All of that crap that's happening right now, like people messing with... Oh, and I'm finding out some... I got so much to say, y'all. It's so much I've found out about... It, it's, it's, hide it's, your kids. Yes. They're coming for your kids. I'm hide, telling you. Hide them for real, for real. Because it's, I, some, ooh, I done found some stuff out. Anyway, yeah. this is a long video, but I knew it was going to be long because there was a lot to go over. Most people did two or three videos in this and I was trying to get it in one. Okay. So I knew it was going to be long. Just comment down below and let us know what you guys think. And if you made it this far, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so that way YouTube will know that you want to hear more from us because yes. you like what we're putting down. Yeah, picking up what we're putting down. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. For an update, on our daughter um, we're about to head at the end of this week actually back to Oklahoma we'll probably take some footage of it probably not as much as we did last time mm -hmm. um, but we are going to take some footage of it of it and if you guys want to see the footage that we took uh, let us know and I'll you know put some footage either at the end of a video or I'll make a video of the footage for our second visit there yeah um, maybe there'll be some favorable updates that you guys might want to know about we thank you for everybody who has donated to our GoFundMe which will be in the description we want to thank you for that as well yes thank you all very 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 much um i would start naming people but i don't want to forget people right. but you all know who you are thank you so much for your donations we truly appreciate it we appreciate you we appreciate the support we should appreciate the prayers and we just appreciate you guys right. and we hope that by you helping to bless us that you will in turn be blessed for helping us in this time of need yes all right guys that was it you do peace peace, peace.